Hello and welcome. Neil Ellis here from Tax TV. What a weekend. I think uh, my expression and everything says it all. Normally, do play ratings for man at match and stuff like that. Well, let's get on about game first. I was surprised with players or lineup. I was trying to figure it out. Looked like, you know, with Phillips and Martin, I didn't know if it were going to be packet midfield art kind of thing. But I it transpired it looked like a three four three or three four one two. I I don't know. I mean first ten minutes I started off pretty or eight ish, fifteen. Um then after that it I just didn't know what happened. It was no ball retention. Nobody were up in midfield. It was lobbing balls up, up front. Aimless balls as well. I can't, I'm, to be fair, I'm just like lost for words on how I can describe that performance. It was as if players had just... When some that six came on beat run and players had just come back as if it were... What do we do now? Kind of thing. And people say, yeah, we're missing Luke Thomas and we're missing his driving, his passion. I kind of get that. And I hope Thomas comes back quick and soon after his recovery. But surely we've got a squad capable of dealing with something like this. You know, Josh Martins came in um, as a as a supposed to be a replacement. We could possibly have H. Sinvia, who played via in that position at Forest Green Rovers. For me, I personally like to see Ben Sinvia, because we've got options in midfield. So, is I get we we miss Thomas and his driving his passion, which I totally understand. Same could be said with Luke Connell when he were out injured, because he were having a good run. Yet we still went, we still managed with that, and that do not get away from its excuse that it's conceding in manner that we did. Long ball, two of his players went for the same ball, it bounced, got under Cundy's feet, I believe, and they put it away. It was just like basic, basic stuff, innit? it? it two, two men going football, same ball from a long throw in. Then it bounces in our box. Then it gets stuck under feet and then they put it away. But then not long after that, when we're having corners, again, we'll do it the same again. I looked at six and sevens at the back for some reason. The sense have gone backwards. If you're going to be bumping ball up, long ball, up front, like we have been doing, why won't tell each other? It, it kind of questioned it for me. If you're playing that kind of system where you're going to be lumping it up front aimlessly, Devante Cole trying to do that, but Phillips isn't that kind of player. Martin's not that player. In fact, Phillips isn't even a striker. It, for me, he's more a, a midfielder. Martin's more an attacking midfielder. So if you're lumping it up, and surely that says a lot about Teddy, it's not. You need to have come as a as a sub, still on bench. Luke O'Connell came off at half time. I didn't think he had worse the games. In fact, what I saw on Luke O'Connell, he won one of them who were trying to tell players and that way to go and trying to rally him up, which kind of brings him on to who is our. I know Anderson is his captain, but who is our vocal, vocal player on there who's going to get game it scruff at neck, dictate it, and get it drilled into him? For me, I wanted someone like a Michael Duff who was on the sidelines, gain it to players, won't ban on pitch. Yeah, you can go back to such as your reference, your kind of hoover hands, then kind of players are actually on them, checking it with scruff and neck and gaining to players' ears, his own players. And, you know, roll his sleeves up kind of thing and dig in. I don't see that, you know, I don't see that like leadership, that. I know players are still pretty young and, you know, I thought six game unbeaten, it's confidence for you. But again, it's it's like me stripped away. And yeah, fair play with, you know, people say, yeah, but Luke Thomas is, uh, Luke Thomas is out injured. Conor McCarf is injured. Norwood suspended. But that doesn't get away from the fact that the squad should still be good enough, in my opinion. Should still be good enough, in my opinion, to be... Going away to bottom of league 
and at least getting a result. I said in my preview, said in my preview that for score we're going to be important. If Markham got it, it'd make it even more difficult for us, which we did. But as long as game went on, it was a bit like a game like Fleetwood for Cheltenham. You know, Cheltenham at home for us, it was a matter of time when goal wasn't going to come. Going to come. Away at Fleetwood, as game was going further and further on, we're still stuck into it. But again, we've had Exeter, Bolton, now Markham. I'm just, I just don't know what's happened. Um, and you know, at end of game, players rightly got, you know, uh, made the feelings for it, players and that. And they're not my words, they're, they're Michael Duff's. It's a bit fully deserved it, but fully deserved, you know, at end of game. What I don't agree with is some verbals and uh, some gestures and that made directly at Michael Duff, because I saw Duff looking, you know. You got to forget, you ain't got to forget we had, what Duff's had to work with and where he's at, you know, what he's had to deal with. <clears throat> so for me, personally, I mean, at Michael Duff, mm, you can voice your displeasure, I get that. But when it starts getting a bit personal, you know, directing it, no. Players, for, for me, though, I, I don't know. And like I say, player ratings, I, I, if you can tell me, you know, if you're saying comments below, if you can tell me a player that actually stood out and thought, yeah, they made a man at match, would you give a shout out to Kitchen Anderson? I'm really, really struggling. I'm really struggling to get a, a, a man at match. I think, in my opinion, is that there's no man at match, but I think uh, people at match, what fans, us fans, what made the journey, an even longer journey on way back home. So I think uh, my thoughts on ratings for, you know, not man of the match, but the fans, the, the people of the match, were us fans for making journey. To see that kind of performance. I, like I said, there's no excuse. Some people are looking on social media saying, oh, that's a pretty decent, strong lineup. That, that's a... I'm thinking, what, but what kind of lineup is it? What kind of front three is that? Martin Phillips and Cole. And then you've got, like I said, you've got H on bench, Teddy on bench. I, I don't know what the thinking was in this game, if I'm being honest about the how we approach it. If I'm looking at that lineup, I just don't know. Don't know why we, you know, will there any real goal threat there? Apart from Benson, uh, a couple of occasions, one he got tipped over, <clears throat> one were just wide. But apart from that, will there any real goal threats? In fact, I think Markham, we only had real attempts on goal and we scored it. So that's how poor it was. We got, we got sucked into a, a scrappy dog fight, you know, a scrappy, a scrappy fight to the, a game, and again we we didn't have that spark energy of someone in 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 camp for us to like say no, this is it, slow it down, find a pass. As soon as we got it in midfield, it was like an opportunity, it was like get it and lump it, get it in it upfield, and it were in no man's land. The amount of time Josh Martin lost lost position in final third, and they Brock and took it to us. I'm thinking. No, I don't. I'm, like I say, I can't. I cannot. I cannot get a man at match for us. I'd be interested. Um, read your comments below after this. I normally do a player ratings. I can't. I'm done that. I cannot give a a player ratings for this because it was just unacceptable. We offered no up front, but then again, we didn't create out. So you could like to go. Well, Devante called it. There was. But if we're not getting out for lads to work with, you know, it highlights his uh, kind of play. But when you look in midfield, when we got it, we lost it or lumped it. And at, at back, at times, especially on throw-ins and corners, looked at sixes and sevens. Going to be a test for us. Next couple of games, two home games now coming up. 
midweek against Lincoln City. Well, Virgil won a piece against Wednesday. And then we've got Forest Green at home on Saturday. Two teams that possibly could come to Oakwell and think, yeah, do you know what? We could get a scalp here, we could get an upset. If they went away from Oakwell with a point, if not three, if we don't show up, we've got to regroup and we need to act now. We've said it before. Certain areas have been short in numbers. For me, looking at free agent market now, I, I won't even bother with that. What's the point? You've got another couple of months from November into January. You, you're possibly looking into the free agent market now. They're going to need at least, what, three, four games to get up to match speed, match fitness. So what? we should have been looking at free agent market if that were the case, just after January transfer, uh, sorry, the August transfer window. We're now going into October, stroke November, looking at free agent market, which free agent, you know, if they are looking at that in certain areas, the players got to come in, get up to speed. So we're in January. Have we got that luxury to do that? This should have been addressed back in August, but again, we all know, not going on about that, we all know what should have been sorted out. So, yeah, I'm not even going to say bad day at office because how many of them can you have? Uh, free amp bot. It's uh, something that needs to get sorted out and addressed. I hope it's going to get addressed on midweek game against Lincoln and then fo fo follow it on to Forest Green. Because I think if we carry on in this kind of frame of mind mentality wisely setting and then before you know where you are the game's coming up thick and fast we're going to be losing points away from where we want to be and we're going to get sucked into a, a fight so i've been just to hear your thoughts let me know i mean you might agree disagree let me know your man at match um if you went yesterday or you had a safe journey back i know it was a longer journey back uh, for us after that but as always, please like, subscribe and share. Appreciate you all for watching, taking your time out and that. I'm sorry, but I can't do normally I'd give my thoughts on player ratings. But for this one, I, I honestly can't. Um, and I can't wait to read your comments as well um, about that. You know, because I, I really struggled with it. So, thanks for watching. Just... It's just disappointing, isn't it? A disappointing uh, weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, one thing left to say, you reds.